this video is in response to a request to show you guys how to cut my pattern for the long hair scrub cap out of a quilter's quarter, a fat quarter. So I have this piece here that I purchased at my local fabric store. It is originally 18 by 21, but I wash and iron and press all my fabrics before I cut and this is about 23 inches wide, which is nice, but it actually shrunk a little bit along the grain. So it's a little less than 18. It's more like 17 and three quarters. Now the first thing that I do is I cut the cap top, which is this guy right here. And I look for the side that is the most uneven of the two. So this one looks like it's more uneven. I see the fraying more than this side. This one looks like it might be straighter. So I will leave this side for the headband piece. But I'm gonna cut this last because it's just a straight piece and I have a bit more wiggle room. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna go ahead and take the part that's more uneven. So in this case, I know that my piece measures on the fold four inches. So I'm gonna fold up in the part that's bigger which is this side, to make sure that my fold goes up four inches. I'm gonna go fold up here. I'm gonna basically measure so that it's four inches. And you have to be pretty tight. Uh, there's not a lot of wiggle room here. So make sure that you measure in several places that it's four inches. There is about four, a little less. And here it starts to shrink, but that's okay. It's less than four. But remember that this is on a curve, so it's okay that it's less than four as you taper down. I'm gonna go ahead and place it here on the edge, on the fold. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And this is my top, and this is my notch. I had the notch wrong on the file initially, but now it's correct if you were to download it. So I don't pin the fabric because I'm so used to it at this point, but you are more than welcome to um, do so. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna slide it over because I have extra fabric. If I have extra fabric for this, I tend to give a little bit extra here for more hair. You don't have to do that, this is plenty. But if I have extra, like in this case, I'm gonna slide it over and just eyeball it. If you don't feel comfortable with that, then just close, just cut on the line and you'll be fine. So I'm just giving a little extra and I'm going to basically taper off into nothing. When I get to my notch, which is where my elastic is gonna go, then I go along the pattern piece. First one and before I lift my pattern piece I'm gonna go ahead and notch here just a little notch you don't want it to be too deep and then this notch again it would ideally be on the black but I'm gonna do it on the new one that I marked and I updated that on the PDFs so there's my little notch okay I'm gonna set that aside I'm done with this piece once you're done cutting that piece you're gonna cut your fabric in half and you're going to try to align this or this. It's a little uneven here and we can address that later if necessary. So on the fold, I'm gonna take my piece, my cap side. Now this fold clearly can't be here because this is not the fold, so it needs to be over here. So you have one of two choices. You either put it like this, so you can't see it, and this is okay because there's no notches that you need to worry about. So you can put it like this. But in my case, because this is a straight line and I still need to cut the headband ties, I'm actually going to put it upside down. And the design of the fabric allows me to do that. As a matter of fact, the vines are going in both directions, so it works just fine. So I'm gonna line it up here, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut. I'm gonna turn my fabric. And then I start cutting. And I'm going to cut this line all the way past my pattern piece. If you're not confident with this, then you can just leave it alone. But I'm gonna cut straight to the end, okay? And before I turn, I'm just gonna go ahead and notch here, might as well. 
and I'm gonna notch here even though I haven't cut the top yet. I'm gonna turn it, make sure that my fabric is still in place. I'm gonna cut here. I'm gonna turn again. I'm gonna finish cutting. Now I have made some updates as I mentioned to the pattern pieces and I will try to put a video for you explaining why um, when I get a chance. Okay, so that's it. No other notches besides the top and bottom, which I already did. So I can set this on the side. So, th so now this is a piece that I have left to cut out my headband tie. Now I've included this as a pattern piece, but I don't actually use it as a reference because this is three inches tall. This is meant for ideally if you have the whole width of fabric and a surplus amount of fabric. But since we're dealing with a fat quarter, basically what I do is I measure what this is. It's five and three quarters here and about five and three quarters here. And I'm ignoring the piece here that's bigger. So this section is five and three quarters. Now I need half of five, which is two and a half, and half of three quarters, which is three eighths. So basically, about right here. So this will give me one piece of my headband and this other piece will give me the other piece of my headband. So I'm going to do two and a half and three eighths. This right here gives me the width of the headband that I need to cut. Now you can measure this with a pencil and a ruler and all that. I kind of eyeball it, but it's, again, it's a matter of how confident you are doing this. Ideally, you wanna take the width that you have left after cutting the other two pieces and divide that by two. And that's what you're going with. So since mine is five and three quarters, I know that I need to cut it two and a half plus half of three quarters, which is three eighths. So two and seven eighths basically is where I'm going. And I'm just gonna put my, my measuring tape. I'm gonna snip. I'm gonna go again here and snip there. Again, if you are not confident with this, you can mark it ahead of time. And at this point, I usually stop and then I fold up and I line this, make it nice and straight, and then use the top of the fabric as a guide to keep cutting. And I do it again, use the guide, cut some more. end and finish cutting okay and then I'm going to do it again with this piece make sure that it's even now I can just lay this one on top and they're pretty much going to line up you can see that here they're pretty good and over here I have the extra so I'm just going to cut that off basically just cutting the one layer because the other one measured pretty accurately just like the top one. So now I have two pieces that measure the same. And what do we do now? This is a little off so I'm going to fix that. But it's okay, it's just a hair. So at this point, these two pieces that are exactly the same, I will take one of them and I'm going to slice it in half. So I'm gonna go in here and cut this right here. So what I've just created are the two pieces that go at the end of the headband. So I've got this one and I'm going to attach one on this end and one on the other end. The reason I like to do it this way as opposed to just having a seam in the middle. So if I had taken this piece and I hadn't cut this one but I had left it whole, and just attached it, I would end up with a seam smack in the middle of your forehead, which I don't think is very pretty. So I like to keep this piece whole, and then I add these two on either end, like so, one here and one here. And that will go past my headband side, and I'll show you how that piece lies. So they're basically gonna go like this. So the added piece is gonna go past this, and on this side, just the same, past it. Which is a good thing because that means that you get a whole headband piece with no seam for the duration of the cap, so to speak. So that's what I do at that point. 
if you want to know what to do from here then you can go to the description below and follow my tutorial for assembling a long hair scrub cap if there's anything else that you want to see or if you have any questions you can post a comment and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for everyone that has been commenting on the videos and I do hope that they continue to be of help to you and I will see you next time.